everyone, James here. Today, I'm really, really excited to show you a brand new aquarium that I've been working on. It's been about four months in the making just because of money and just timings and everything. I'm really excited about it. It's an aquarium right behind me here. It's the one that I set up for my bumblebee gobies, which I was showing in my video last week as an unboxing. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, everyone, so here's the aquarium. The idea of the aquarium is to recreate a oyster mangrove. Now, I haven't actually got any oysters in here at the moment, I've just got bumblebee gobies. If anybody doesn't know, mangroves are a type of location that you will find between the river and the ocean, often called the estuary and it's mostly brackish water so that means a little bit of salt in the water so it's not much as seawater but there's none like fresh water with regards to this one as these bumblebee gobies are bred in fresh water at the moment this is just a fresh water setup but i will be slowly over time converting this to brackish I'll give you a quick rundown of the aquarium starting from the top so as you can see here these beautiful things here are mangrove trees these are red mangroves and they are roughly around nine months old from the sea pod which is about here they grow quite slowly but once they get going they tend to take off really well and within the couple of weeks that I've had this mangrove you can see that it's already sprouted a new leaf there so I'm really pleased with how well they're coming on. In terms of lighting I'm just running to all pond solutions LEDs they're like 25 watt LEDs it's more purely aesthetic so I've got a nice lighting going in and I also have a floodlight to light the mangroves so yes it seems to be working really well with that. As you can see close up I've got some bonsai wood with which I've created the really cool mangrove sort of branches. So essentially what that would be is in a big, huge mangrove setup, there would be tons and tons of these branches all around in, in the wild. As I've only got a limited amount of wood, I've just done one big part in the middle there, which I think looks really cool. If you think it looks really murky now, that is biofilm. So all that white stuff all over is a beneficial fungus that comes on woods and other botanicals that you can get and it's massively beneficial fish absolutely love it so it's a great thing to have in your aquarium i have some oyster shells which are here they're absolutely stunning check the size of them as well and i glued a couple to the wood just to look like there was oysters actually grazing or living on the mangrove wood and then uh, just a couple of oyster shells there. So my bumblebee gobies have somewhere to hide. And also I have some mangrove leaves. I absolutely love the color of these leaves. And I think that they add just a really nice effect. Also added some conch sh snail shells there. Conch snails are often found in brackish waters as well. So it's just adding a little bit more of the effect of the biotope. And I'm using some coral sand just to give it that really nice substrate finish there moment filtration wise i'm only using a sponge filter i might get a hang on or a uh, canister filter or something long term but it seems to be doing the job for now which is why i have these mangrove trees so they will be uptaking any of the excess nutrients in the water column so as you can see my bumblebee gobies there i've got six of them in there and they seem happy as anything they are a little fussy with food but they seem to be starting to take one or two bits i did notice that as, as i was feeding there was a lot of food left over so i'm trying to feed a bit more sort of sparingly at the moment just to see if they will take it but uh, yeah i'm hoping that eventually they will start to take a lot more foods more readily so yeah, I'm really pleased with how this has come along. Hopefully in the future, depending on how these gobies go, I might get some other fish in the aquarium, but as these can be quite territorial and often aggressive with other fish, we just have to see how we go. I might have to get something and trial it out first, see how they respond, and then if it works out, then I will add more to it because it would be really amazing to get a really nice look to this. You can tell the time of year it is as well because I have a spider's web growing all over my lights and stuff. So yeah, absolutely chuffed with how well this aquarium's turned out. Like I said, it's been about four months in the making. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's been a big passion of mine to create a brackish type mangrove setup at some point. 
and I'm really pleased that I finally got around to doing it. So I'm really excited to see how well the trees take off and maybe how it evolves going forward in time. Maybe I can add some different bits and pieces, trial a few things out and see what works really. But yeah, it's all really good, really excited. Let's get some B-roll footage for you so you can see how cool it looks in the dark. If you want to see what else I got along with these Bumblebee Gobies, make sure you check out this video right here of an unboxing that I did last week. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, let me know what you think I should do next in terms of a project. And until next time, you stay safe.